With us is Dan Zaviza, who has been a big part of the Salem Historic Society. As you said, you were going to talk about photography today, and we have a bunch of pictures, and they're old pictures. What's the start of this? Uh, how did it all begin? Well, the very first type of photograph is called a, a daguerreotype, named after a man, uh, Emile Daguerre, who was French. Emile Daguerre invented a way of putting uh, uh, images onto metal plates. And this is an example of a daguerreotype. Okay. It's, it's uh, basically a piece of metal been coated twice. It was coated with copper and then it was coated with silver and highly polished. Okay. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but we have some close-up pictures of that. And the image was uh, produced by reacting the silver with some iodine mm -hmm. and then washing away the part that wasn't exposed. He had a basic little camera, a uh, box with a lens and a cap on it. We don't have an example, they're pretty rare. Uh, and he put like a, a can over the lens and mm -hmm. he pulled the can off the lens for a while and put it over and he took a picture out of his window. The very first picture is a picture of rooftops in Paris. Mm. And, but this, this is now 1838 is when he invented the process. And uh, it went on from there. It was uh, refined, better cameras were made. And by the uh, Civil War in the United States, uh, this was the common way of taking pictures in 1860. Uh, so between 1838 and 1860, this was almost the only kind of picture. Uh, the pictures, you can only see them if you tilt, tilt the, uh, the piece the right way. Yeah, right. You could see that it's, it's basically a mirror, but you can see the, it, the images. The images are permanent. They only had one copy. That was it. You made one copy. The other interesting thing was because the way the cameras were made, the images were reversed. So what is left in real life becomes a, a right on, on the picture. So if somebody's left-handed, he, he comes out right-handed in the picture. So all of the daguerreotypes that you see, a real daguerreotype looks like a mirror, a picture on a mirror. The second type of picture was called an ambrotype. And I have, I have an example of an ambrotype here. It was done on glass. Now you can't see it. It's a picture of a lady. But uh, the picture is, is done pretty much the same way except the uh, uh, photosensitive emulsion is put on glass, the picture taken, and then they wash away the parts that were exposed. So for, for us to be able to see this, Usually you have to put something black in the back. Okay. So now you can oh, see yeah. the picture. So when you see an ambrotype, the ambrotypes were the, the successor for daguerreotypes. They were invented in 1851. So they were coming into their own also during the Civil War. Uh, they were invented by Frederick Scott Archer. And um, it's a positive on a piece of glass. There's only there's only one copy, again, that's all there is. We went from there, they started to figure out how to do things a little bit more economically. We came to tin types. Tin types were done on, on basically the kind of metal you find in a can. In actuality, the most popular way of getting a tin type in the 1860s, 70s, and 80s was uh, by going to the fair. There would be a photographer, he would go to the fair, and he'd say, I'll take your picture for 50 cents. And he literally cut up cans, coated them, and, and made tin types, so the tin cans. Right, right. That's where the name comes from. They were also called ferrotypes. And they were, they were cheap copies. Again, only one copy. In the Civil War, they did invent a way of making reproductions on paper. And the popular type of photograph was known as a carte de visite. Uh, 
The card they received was like, like a business card. It had your picture on there. Somebody could get these things made in a studio, and they would make uh, 10, 15, 20 copies, and then they could carry them around. Becoming popular in the uh, Civil War era, uh, 1860, 1865, and later. Now, these are definitely Civil War era. Mm -hmm. And the way I can tell is on the reverse, you have stamps. These are tax stamps. And the tax was for the Civil War. It's a Union tax stamps. So these were for Washington, for the North. And they used any kind of tax stamp they could get their hands on. Uh, two cents for one of these cards. And the different kinds of, of tax stamps, like the blue one here, is a playing card tax stamp. And the, the yellow one is, is a bank check. So when you wrote a bank check, you also had to pay a tax, <laughs> two, cents, two cents tax. And that's how they raised money for the Civil War effort. So there you have it, gone from daguerreotypes to, uh, to ambrotypes and to paper, tintypes and the papers, paper positives. Uh, interesting to collect pictures of Native Americans from Civil War era. Or, or eight, between, I would say between 1850 and when the process was invented to um, 1880s, 